Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Hey everybody! Welcome back to more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Marty, do you remember where we are? Because it's Not been really. a while. I remember since we that I discovered that he didn't have a ponytail and I got super upset. Oh, oh yeah, that's I where we ended that. it. And I don't remember anything else. Uh, she We're was on, on her way backstage. Yeah. The backstage exit. Cool. So you were headed toward the dressing room? Yes. So this is a little before she opened the dressing room door and dropped her brooch. About the same time Emma and I heard those shots. I was on my way back. There was something like a little window there. That's how I saw it. Um, what exactly is something like a little window? Yes, well, window is the best word I know in English. I think it is how it is said, yes. You need not worry, Lamois. Your choice of words is impeccable. There is a small window in that dressing room in question. Perhaps the defense remembers this detail? But she's probably describing something else that she's like, I don't know, it's a window? <laughs> that little <laughs> window on the wall? I, uh, saw the crime from there. There were two shots. I couldn't do anything. You are certain you heard two shots fired? Yes, quite certain. I was on my way to the backstage exit. This was when I heard a faint sound, like a gunshot. Wondering where it had been, I peered through the window. That is when I heard the second gunshot, much closer. And there were two bullet holes at the scene. No contradictions so far. It all happened on the other side of that window. Oh right, because we stopped in the middle and I'm like, You idiot, the window opens a crack. Okay, Yeah. nothing that I could do. But she could hear through it if it was open a crack. Yeah, but you need to be able to see. It wasn't Machi. It wasn't Machi who shot. Are you sure? Yes, quite certain. <laughs> it amuses me that you would question her testimony. It is testimony in your favor. Isn't it my job to object? Yeah, Apollo. What were you thinking? Trucy, let's just listen to what Lamawa has to say. Can you tell me how you were so sure? Yes, of course. You see... It was a grown person, I know it was. A grown person? That's a little vague. I'm sorry. My skill with your language is lacking, I know. You're doing better than most of us. Yeah, certainly you could at least see whether the shooter was male or female. It was a man. A young man. And you're sure of that? Yes, his voice was quite clear. Voice? Hmm. Unless if it's the most, like, manly sounding woman, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the diagram, it seems in the dressing room was quite cluttered. I was about to make a off-color joke, and I, I didn't. Stop, yeah. Okay. I stopped myself. <laughs> it does seem likely that you wouldn't have had a clear view of the shooter. As a singer, I rely more on my ears than my eyes. Yeah. Your eyes, though, are a part of singing as well. It's kind of both. I don't know. I'm, I'm just critiquing La Mewa the entire time. Like, eh. I don't know about this girl. You could be better at singing. Here to Esmeralda. <laughs> Why do we both say that? I mean, she's she's dressed kind of like how Esmeralda does. Bit. Just wearing blue instead of but red. But she's got the um, Katara hair from season three. <laughs> I like see. I like hair loopy Katara better. What, what happened to your hair loopy? <laughs> that was like your face. <laughs> When I hear a voice, I do not forget it. That voice was the voice of a man. So you heard a voice. But wait. Couldn't that have been the victim, Mr. Latus? Absolutely not. Did I not just say I do not forget a voice? If it was Mr. Latus who spoke, I would have known. Hmm. Indeed. So you were at the window and you heard the shooter's voice. The voice of a young man. Apollo, this is a good testimony. That proves it wasn't Machi. Indeed. If this turns out to be true, it would cast this case in a considerably different light. What is the defense's opinion of this testimony? It's pretty good. It's contradictory. Well, I already said my opinions. Alright. 
Well, I'd have to say it's pretty good. Vital, even. This shows that the shooter wasn't Machi! Ha! <laughs> Surely you can't be serious, Air Forehead. W why not? Lamewa, I understand why you would want to protect Machi. Yet remember, you are the Siren of the Ballad. And lies do not become such a creature. What does the prosecution mean? Apollo! What is he talking about? How come no one bats an eye when he says stuff like that? I recall the state of the crime scene quite well. The state of the room? Yes, and when the murder took place, that window was closed. I find it hard to believe you can hear a voice through it. What? But... but I... I'm sure... Lamua, I have nothing but the highest regard for your musical sense. But my opinion of you as a witness is somewhat lesser. B but she's the only eyewitness we have! Objection! So you say, and the victim named her the Siren as the witness? Th that's right! That's what Mr. Latouse... Didn't you see all of those flashbacks? Like the yeah. eight different ones? We heard your claim. We even entertained the possibility. And it brought us to this. Air Judge? Yes. The prosecution requests that the witness be excused. Please. Hmm. I'm afraid I must honor the prosecution's request. You don't have to! There is indeed a question of the witness's credibility. B but if Lamua can't testify... Then we don't have a chance of proving Machi's innocence! This cross-examination is over. Prosecutor Gavin, you may continue making your case. Danke. Now where were we? Ah yes, I would like to hear from Fräulein Detective again. Objection! Wait! Let me hear Lamarois testimony one last time! But the cross-examination is already over. Until such a time as a need arises, this witness may leave the stand. I'm sorry, I could not be of more assistance. Just an instant game over. <laughs> At last, back to the real trial. Ready, Air Forehead? Uh, I hope I didn't just miss my only chance. Fräulein Detective, how far have we gotten until we were so rudely interrupted? Don't ask me! I dislike saying the same thing twice. And I never repeat a psalm for an encore. If you would, Miss Skye. <laughs> I believe I was saying that the only way Mr. Latouse's killer could have escaped was through that air vent in the ceiling. Ah, yes, there was only one door in the room. I had no witness, you was standing in front of it. That air vent isn't very big, see. Kind of limits the people who could possibly get through. I certainly would have a difficult time. You sure would. Not that you would have been there in the first place, though. Remember, the whole backstage area was off limits to people not involved with the concert. The only one who meets the conditions for our killer is the defendant. A virtuoso performance. I couldn't have put it better myself. Hmm. She does state a clear case. Though reading the report, something caught my eye. Oh? What's that? The circumstances of the defendant's arrest. The circumstances? Again? Hey, that's right, Apollo! Remember when we found Machi? That was bizarre! She's right! Why did Mr. Latouse's body disappear from the room? And end up on top of that stage tower. Also, no offense to Machi, I don't think he could have lifted that man. He's like, he looks like he's a solid 6'4". <laughs> oh, at least. And Machi's probably 5 foot. <laughs> and he, it can be a bit taller You think he can, you think he's gonna lug like Mr. Uh, I don't Latouse, know. Latouse, Mr. Lettuce up there. Mr. Lettuce. He looks. And the guitar. From here. Yeah, he's, like, built like a tank. You can't lift that guy. <laughs> How's a guy like Santa Claus who's built like a dump, dump truck? truck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Holding a guitar, no less. A perceptive observation, Air Judge. Ah, er, uh, thanks. It was kind of an accident, really. But you work on this job long enough. You get a nose for fiends. <laughs> the judge sure seems pleased with himself. Very good, Fräulein Detective. Perhaps you can tie it all together for us. Why was the body moved? And how does that lead us to the killer? Uh, were we supposed to do this? Yeah. Oh. We couldn't do anything for that testimony. W what about the window? The window can't even open more than a crack, which means that's she couldn't have seen through. That's exactly what Clavier said. 
Yeah, but if we said, no, there's something wrong, and we point that out, then I thought... Then the exact same thing would have happened, just oh. we're the ones who pointed out. Oh. Okay, never mind. I was like, and it, I felt very, I felt, I felt it would be very redundant. long rabbit trail. <laughs> no. <laughs> the missing body. It's a rabbit trail, including a whole testimony that you have to debunk. Yo. I believe Machi stole the body because of some lyrics. He moved the body to match Lamewa's song. No one in this country had a motive to kill the victim. And Machi practically left his signature at the scene. All of this evidence clearly points to the defendant. He left his signature? <laughs> Signed, Machi. I totally, totally killed this guy. <laughs> this is like Caius is a dumbbell. The, on the temple. <laughs> Who wrote Caius is a dumbbell no, on the, on the temple, temple wall? Caius yes, did. did. <laughs> Lamawa's song? Yes, the guitar serenade. You noticed its code too, did you not? It's code. All the events that day followed the lyrics to our song. First, sugar, I ate a lot of sugar before the show. <laughs> sugar, butter, oh. flour. Oh, sugar, sugar. Ding, ding, yeah, ding, that's how ding, it should. That's what I should have sang, not waitress. <laughs> First, the keys to my heart held onto so tightly were stolen. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What, that's every worship song oh, ever. Oh, I just realized that's Lemuel's signature. If you look at it from this angle, it looks like a Lemon. really fat seal. Wait. Those are the eyes. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Not, I wouldn't say a seal, but I kind of. Or say. like maybe like a octopus that has an O for a mouth. It looks like your plush octopus a little bit. Oh! <gasps> I forgot about purple. Then Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flames on stage. <laughs> Mr. Lettuce's life was taken by a bullet? The rest hardly needs any explanation. Guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. Th that's mad! It's like a story out of some fairy tale! Oh, I love how <laughs> Emma's she stands posed. now. She's like, ugh. She's like, I am so ready to be done and go not, to Taco Bell after this. <laughs> not shown, she just has a giant a bag of snack who's around oh, yeah. her. Oh, yeah. just like, <laughs> Especially nowadays, I feel like I'm slowly becoming like, more like Emma. Oh, I relate to Emma so much. It's I did it work. Like I oh okay so I never got to tell you about this, but you go first. Oh okay, I was gonna say for those who don't know, uh, I work as like a software developer. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Thank you. I make a lot of money too. And, yeah, you do. Uh, we have, there's there's a Costco like right next to our work, and Costco sells like giant tubs of chocolate covered raisins. They're great. They're amazing. They're milk chocolate covered too, which is awesome. It's a little I, dangerous. I have one at my desk. Just a container of that. I, don't, I Like, it lasts me months. Okay, good. It's not like every week i have got to get more. <laughs> more. <laughs> but okay, but occasionally, if like I, there's no dessert that I can take with my lunch, or if I'm like having a stressful day, I'll basically go down on those like Emma That's does awesome. on the snack It's fantastic. See, for me, for me, earlier today, I work at a wedding center. Oh, boy. I don't make a lot of money, but... Um, <laughs> but you're getting work... valuable job experience that helps you get a job. Yeah, you know, I am. I am. Well, and today... You also have the, a shorter commute. The bride... From yesterday's wedding that I worked, she was like, oh yeah, I left all of the desserts in, like, the kitchen. They didn't replenish the desserts like they were supposed to. Dang, kitchen people. But anyway, there was all this leftover stuff, and she's like, yeah, we don't really want them. We just want the Tupperwares, so, like, eat everything and then give us the Tupperwares. They had, her grandma <laughs> made all of these desserts. They had, like, homemade brownies with, like, these, like, <laughs> swirls of chocolate on them. And chicken pie, they, country you know, ham, had, and like, homemade butter on the It looks like disgusting granola bars, but it's basically, like, cookie bars with chocolate inside them. There were, like, <laughs> carrot cake things. It, it, it was so good. I think I had, like, five pieces. And my boss was just like, yeah, just eat them. It's fine. I like to imagine Apollo's just staring, like, <laughs> thinking, like, oh, man, Emma Sky, she's got a pretty pose. Oh, man, I loved that wedding where I got to eat all those desserts. <laughs> Mr. Justice, are you going to continue? This? He's got such a serious look on his face, too, like, mm, mm. carrot cake. Don't even go. Oh, carrot cake sucks. Carrot cake's not bad. I admit, I'd forgotten carrot cake sucks. But here it is now, waiting for me. The grand finale, as it were. Hey, you know, I was the one who first noticed that. I've heard of jumping rope to songs and counting to songs. But killing? It's a wild world out there, Air Judge. Very well. We've heard one song and dance. So let's get on to the next, the cross-examination. I'm not so sure I'm going to be doing much singing. <laughs> the missing body. I believe Machi stole the body. Still sounds like Borscht Bowl Club, though. <laughs> Who would steal a body just to match some lyrics? I didn't believe it myself, but it can't just be a coincidence. 
It is as Fräulein Detective says. Let us begin with the first verse, if you would, Fräulein Detective. What? You want me to sing it? You are the witness, ya? Yeah? Or did you want me to sing? I warn you, my fee as vocalist is not trivial. Fine, fine. Uh, <clears throat> Let's look at the first part of the lyric, shall we? Are you going to sing as Emma Sky? <laughs> oh boy. It's just gonna it's gonna be me singing and then like shoving food in my mouth. <laughs> when you stole away the keys. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, Emma, you got such a rich voice. My heart my, my heart stole I should just sing as myself because Emma is more herself. My heart held on to so tight. <laughs> well, that, that's good. I mean, that's not the tune or what yeah. I, I don't know the tune. <laughs> Indeed, my favorite heart-shaped keyring was stolen that morning. I have many, but that was my favorite. That was my favorite one. Next, we go to the right page of the lyric sheet. Where we find... Burning on in my heart, fire, burn it all away. Burn it all away, not burn it all away. <laughs> no, burn it all away works. Burn <laughs> all away. As we know, Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flame. That was the best part, by the oh, way, yeah. of this entire thing was... <laughs> Wait, before we keep reading, that was my favorite part of the opening where it's like, wow, look at this epic, like, song happening, and all of a sudden this guitar catches on fire. He's like, oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's so great. Like a bullet of love, fire, take my life away, all away. I don't know. I, like, can't hear the. the, the our volume's so low, I can't it's hear. It's a 20 out of 100. Ooh, ooh. Otherwise, it sounds like, um, you know how when you I... go to the desert town in Paper Mario, and it's like... Oh, Dry Dry Desert. Oh, 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 oh. That's what, that what Lemewa sounds like. A little <laughs> bit. Mr. Latouse's life was taken by a bullet. You know, just <laughs> casually. Bravo, Fräulein Detective. You're singing. It's not bad. Now for the finale. Guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. It's as it says in the lyrics, Mr. Latouse. Latouse. We should probably say it with, with like more of an accent. Latouse. Yes, like that, like you're sneezing. Latouse. <laughs> Latouse. <laughs> yeah, from now on, every time we say that, we have yes. to sneeze it. <laughs> he was found of a guitar high in the sky over the stage. <laughs> He's just like laying there. No series of coincidences could be so well conceived. He's right. Scientifically speaking. What would Walkie have said? That concert was whack. Why are we referring to Walkie? Yeah, never mention him again. It's hard to argue when she pours her heart into it like that. Uh, uh, <clears throat> anyway, the shooter. <laughs> that he was like one of the longest presses. He uh, moved ever. the body. Does the prosecution have any idea why he'd do all this? You want my scientific opinion? No clue. But he clearly had a reason to go through all the trouble. Some deep reason. A deep reason? Not only did he steal my keys, he torched my guitar! Also, how? Unforgivable acts, even if he had a reason. And worse if he had none! The diva's complaints aside, I can't imagine someone doing this just on a whim. Fräulein Detective! I take offense at that description! Indeed, it does seem too well rehearsed, uh, shall we say. Yes, this crime was planned for sure. I hope this is the one where we, if we press no something, we get something hilarious. Nobody has a motive to do anything! But Mr. Lanty <laughs> spoke <laughs> English! <laughs> he may have come to this country before! <laughs> I looked into that, I assure you. Oh. <laughs> it was his first time in the country, it seems. Apparently, he learned English on his own. Great! You see, no one here had a motive to kill him, okay. and certainly not in such an let's, elaborate let's fashion. Let's assume this is a this is a make believe country. Of course. Yeah, Morgan. So, yeah. Uh, how how often do you think you'd be able to speak English in it, that country? It's a Western European country. I mean, I guess, but it's not like Great Britain where English is the norm. No, but it could be something like Italy or Germany, where like they learn Italian and German. Do they? But Okay. Are, do in, they learn English? In Germany, they learn, they like speak German natively, but they learn English. Oh, cool. yeah, oh yeah, they learn That's English. That's cool. Here's the thing. I just feel like a lot of times, because our, our dad's gone to Germany and stuff, mm -hmm. sometimes they'll just, not everyone in Germany, not everybody in Germany, uh, let me make this very oh, clear. Oh boy, what are you going to say? No, sometimes they, he said, sometimes they pretend they don't know English. 
Just so, like, if he's asking for help and they don't want to bother with it because they're having, like, a big whatever in Germany? Day. Yeah, in, like, other countries. I feel like they would do that in France, but... Oh, maybe France. Okay, yeah. Maybe France. I don't think... I don't think German... Germans don't are know. very polite. I've never been to Generally Germany. speaking. Yeah. We're, like, slightly German, so... <laughs> Our dad looks very German, so oh when my he goes gosh. there, everyone just he acts like... He looks so like, German. <laughs> everyone just They'll acts just ask like, him stuff in German, he's like, He's uh, like, I know a little, but... <laughs> not <laughs> enough. No one had a motive to kill him. Hmm, it does seem difficult to imagine. Unless our famous prosecutor did it as a publicity stunt. Wh what did you say? Prosecutor Gavin, you did this to promote yourself? <laughs> I would laugh if that's what happens. <laughs> of course not, and I am quite dismayed by the ludicrous nature of her claim. Why would I need promotion? Everybody already listens to my music. <laughs> They're even in my textbook at school. And I'd never heard of them. What does that say about me? Well, but that could, like... Oh, dang it. What? Uh, I love Emma's, like, holding her glasses, <laughs> like, happy. I was just kidding. Don't get it all worked up, Glimmer Boy. <laughs> Pony Boy. <laughs> and Machi practically left his signature at the scene. Really? He signed his name and everything. Dotted the I's, crossed the T's. What do you mean by his signature? The bullet holes in the wall, of course. The bullet holes? Oh, bullet? <laughs> <laughs> or they, like, lower to the ground. The revolver was re fired twice. One shot missed and left a hole in the wall. And that means what exactly? The dressing room isn't exactly spacious. Picture the shooter facing off with the victim in there. They can't have been more than five feet apart. It would have been difficult, almost impossible to miss at that range. It's a revolver! Like, most people can't shoot revolvers! Okay, if you're five feet away from somebody, it's not hard to aim. Okay, but there's the kickback. If you have a kickback and it goes, whoa, and then you, like, shoot up That doesn't high. affect your aim, though. I thought it would. It shoots, and then it kicks back after the bullet leaves, so it would still go in wherever you pointed well, at. Well, maybe he really sucks. Maybe he or never played Star Wars Battlefront 2. <laughs> According to Marty, if you play Star Wars Battlefront 2, you instantly know how to shoot guns. No, but, like, <laughs> it's, it's all about the video games teach you how I to aim. Like, they just do. If you okay, play a I shooter, think you're missing the biggest point here, which we're about to get <laughs> difficult to miss, you say. There. Assuming the shooter could properly aim. No, you, you can't be serious. Oh, I forgot he's blind. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Marty's like, this is stupid. It, he must have not played Battle for two, or he's freaking blind. It's been a week. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> this is the first day of the week, Marty. <laughs> It's been, a, it's been a while since we recorded this. That's true. Maji, he can't see. That's why he missed. It's the only explanation that makes sense. He used sound and other senses to fire the gun. Poorly. That reminds me. The monitor in that room was blaring at the time, yeah. Hardly ideal conditions for tracking by sound. A blind shooter. No wonder he missed. I feel like if you're blind, you just wouldn't pick up a gun. Are you blind? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Darth Maul. Darth Maul. I knew those bullet holes would come back to haunt me. I thought it would be the height. That Fake we justice. Talk about. What do I do now? Raise an objection. Sit back and watch. If we just sit back and watch, we'll be like, well, I guess he's guilty. <laughs> Let's do what everyone else is doing and sit back and watch. Grab your snack who's. Oh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's more than just it's a, a movie. movie. It's, it's a big night, night out. out. <laughs> we won't see it anymore, otherwise people yeah. might get our geographic location. It's fine. <laughs> he couldn't see, so the first shot missed. As explanations go, it's airtight. Hmm, it appears the shooter did leave his signature. I'm afraid this is looking bad for our young defendant. This poor dude. At least he can't understand English, so he's just like, what um, are they talking about? But clearly, all the banging on the desk is probably, <laughs> like, a sign that the there's witness may continue on. with her testimony. You got it. Yeah, oh, more that Emma. Was, that was pretty easy. All the evidence clearly points to the defendant. But, but you can't say that for sure. Please, none of those non-scientific objections. They're bad for my complexion. You have great complexion, Emma. What are you yeah, talking you about? Yeah, you have better complexion than I do. She has better complexion than I do. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I have lots of pimples. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, enough about my pimples. <laughs> What's so scientific about a murder to lyrics? You were the one who brought it up. Lyrics can be explained scientifically. Emma brought up my pimples, clearly, when she talked about her complexion. <laughs> She's staring at you like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love that stare. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of science. Put that bottle of fingerprinted powder down before you hurt someone. What you mean? Okay, then explain it scientifically. I require more data. 
Ha! Likely story! This doesn't look so good, does it, Apollo? No, it doesn't. What do we do? First, we don't panic. Even though Machi's case is leaking water by the gallon. Gavin's on a roll and it's up to me to stop him. You just patch it up with duct tape. <laughs> Saves everything. Duct tape, great at patching everything except, ironically, ducts. <laughs> is it now? Sure, there were bullet holes left in the wall. But that doesn't prove the shooter couldn't see. Um. <laughs> oh, how so? Well, there could have been a struggle with the victim. Hmm, that's certainly possible. And it might have been the revolver's fault. The revolver? The revolver was a very large caliber, correct? Uh, if the shooter wasn't used to firing such a large weapon, why, it could dislocate their shoulder. Exactly. The defendant Machi Tobaye is, as you can see, tiny. It's not so hard to picture him firing the gun and missing entirely. The kickback alone would throw him off his aim. I was right! Unless if I'm really wrong. So this is kind of... Okay, I'll, I should point this out by now because yeah. we haven't done it yet. This is kind of people's biggest criticism with the case. where It makes no sense. Like, they're all saying this kid did it, but like he couldn't because the gun was too heavy. And to which I'm like... Uh, okay, one, there are way bigger plot holes in the Ace Attorney series. Yeah. And two, it says it could dislocate your shoulder if you weren't used to aiming it or like I shooting it. I doubt Machi. I mean, back in it's Virginia probably is not like the thug kid that's shooting. <laughs> I don't, guns. He's already got the sunglasses down though. <laughs> he does. He already has. The okay, sunglasses. I'm saying it's unlikely, but it's at least possible. It's sure. nowhere near. It's nowhere near and as annoying and stupid as the like. Oh, Maya was possessed by a spirit. It was oh, yeah, possessed by was Jafar. Killed the spirit. Killed the guy. And now Maya's on trial because she killed him in cold blood. It's like, no, she didn't. Here's the thing, though. There are two things with this. Number one, court all about possibilities. They gotta disprove every possibility to come to the truth. So if people are mad about this kid not necessarily being able to carry a gun. Sometimes you look like a shrimp, but you got the muscle, and sometimes you look like you're super buff, but, like, you're eating utter junk and you have no muscle at all. Like, yep. it, there's all the different ways that people can be built. I've got a six-pack of <laughs> beer. Of <laughs> beer in my stomach. No. Um, and then the other thing is for your, arg for your uh, thing with Maya. The only reason that that worked for me was because at that time spirit medium and spirit channeling was still kind of relatively new so they were like well she murdered him like there's the blood and the gun and everything but we kind of had in court we had to explain how it worked franziska did that she yeah. read up on it well, she yeah, knew franziska she didn't even exist at the time and she's like oh no my fa totally did this in cold blood and i'm just i was face palming so hard i mean i have no problem with the logic of this I, case i have no honestly. problem with the logic in this case i didn't have any problems with the other logic either yeah. Mostly because I was like, who the heck would I just think this? it's very stupid that people nitpick this one thing and are like, this case is terrible. This I'm is like, the one thing that they nitpick? There's a couple. <laughs> they don't like how it flashes back to the guy's oh, death. Uh, that, that's, which is that's annoying, dumb. but not a deal breaker. But like, and there's if you're something not else voicing later. It, yeah, okay. It'll Anyhow. probably just be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Lame was like a gypsy. What? Who could have. Like. I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather be a gypsy than a the prostitute. prostitute. <laughs> no. <laughs> a convincing <laughs> argument, to be sure. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Take that, smug prosecutor. Oh, new pose. He's got, wow. the, he's got the teeth he looks, going. He kind of looks like he's going to murder somebody. Um, Apollo? Huh? What? That bit about Machi being tiny and the gun throwing off his aim. Um, aren't you kind of, um, admitting that he did it? Oh. It does not matter why he missed. What matters is that the shooter was, without a doubt, the defendant. Even the defense seems to agree on that point. No. Yerk! Ugh. Cripes! I really put my foot in it this time. Cripes? Cripes! <laughs> Cripes! I really put it in this time. Cripes. But let's get the facts of the matter on the record. If you would, Fräulein Detective. Very well. The witness will add this to her testimony. Right. Boodle. From the state of the crime scene, I conclude that the shooter was blind. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting into this. You can't say he was blind just because of the bullet holes in the wall. I think I've proven that. I wouldn't call it proof, per se. Huh? You've merely raised a possibility. Fräulein Detective has made a most logical conjecture based upon the evidence. Of course, there are more evidence than just bullet holes. The defendant was the only one who could have escaped through the air vent. Objection! 
But wait, there's more. If he was blind, how would he know about the air vent in the first place? Ah, a very good point. Well, Fräulein Detective, if you would care to explain. He certainly seems sure of himself. Recall the crime scene, if you would. There was a stepladder below the air vent. As it happens, maintenance was scheduled for that day. Custodial staff w went around checking all the air vents. I don't believe it. Everyone backstage was told about the maintenance. Including Machi Tobaye. In Borginian, clearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would not make any sense. He would have known that there would be a way out at the top of the stepladder. That is dumb. But that's... Opinion. Why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? You could have figured it out by your, for yourself. You only needed to consider what the stepladder was doing there. Looks like the defense's objection has been squished by a stepladder. Well, Air Forehead? Out of ammunition, perhaps? No. I've never seen Prosecutor Gavin so... so aggressive, even though he's still talking normally. <laughs> Maybe he's caught the scent of blood? Apollo, don't you have something? Anything? You know what we need. We need something to prove the killer could see. That'll put him in his place. Proving the shooter was sighted would do it. That would take down one of their central points. Do I have any evidence that I can prove that, though? I mean, we have to... yeah. Yeah. I can't think of anything that proves the shooter could see. Your face does not exactly project... confidence. Maybe you should just accept it and move on. Apollo, grow a backbone! Very well, the witness may continue her testimony. I couldn't even get a word in edgewise. This doesn't look so good, does it, Apollo? <laughs> Never mind, I'm a time traveler! <laughs> Fine, I accept the prosecution's challenge. As I knew you would, Air Forehead. What exactly am I up against here? The prosecution. <laughs> Sorry. Started as a slip of the tongue and ended up in yep, a coughing fit. That's fun. The prosecution is saying that the shooter missed because he or she couldn't see. Therefore, Machi, who's blind, did it. The defense will please present their evidence. Evidence that overturns the prosecution's claim that the shooter couldn't see. Okay, so. Um, I'm trying to process through this thing. Let's say Machi's in the room, so I can try and figure out mm -hmm. everything. Machi's in the room. Here, person comes diagram. In. Yeah, person comes in. He shoots. Well, bam. <laughs> um, there's two shots in the wall. One's kind of high up, one's kind of lower. There's the step ladder. there's the air vent, there's Mr. Latus! <laughs> Mr. Lem! <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, laying down now. What doesn't make any sense is that um, the shots are there and the dead body's there, which means Miss uh, the Machi, Machi had, to, had be to have been over here. Over there, yes, yes. Which that doesn't really make any sense, because how would you be able to shoot with this little blind, with that little thing in the middle of the room, dividing it? Um, he was here. Oh, I thought that was, like, a cabinet. Um, I think that's, like, a rack on the ceiling. A rack? You know, like, you go into the luggage cars, like, in Harry Potter, and you would put your <laughs> luggage up on there? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like you the... put your owl on there? Um, is there an actual, like, room 3D wazam? No, we do have a crime photo, though. Bleh. Who cares? <laughs> that's harsh. <laughs> the guy's seen, dead. Nobody cares. We've seen him five times, okay? Nobody cares. Lyric sheet. Postcard. Oh, I know why. He can't read. I'm an idiot. He can't read, so he wouldn't know how to do all these killings and all the elaborate things because of lyric sheet. Mmm. They really? I'm not sure that overturns anything. That's Mr. such Justice. a good point. They could have. That put is that a good in. point. He can't read. Ah. Uh, he also no. can't read English. Like, forget <laughs> the fact that, like, even if he was able to see, he he's can't blind. Read. He can't read. He doesn't speak English. He can't read English. <laughs> he can't read English. So we that, can't. That pull, is a good point. He can't though. pull off this elaborate plan because mm. he doesn't know it. Even if Lemaywa was like, "Yo, dude, I've been." Like, Apollo's too this stupid song. to figure that out. Apparently. Wow, Apollo. <laughs> oh, rolling evidence. I'm guessing. That was the first thing. Apparently both love and justice are blind. Shut up. I have to figure. There's gotta be something. Anything. This doesn't look so good, does it? This, um, this, this is kind of tricky to figure out. That's so annoying that that wasn't an answer. Because that would be a perfect <laughs> answer with how we logically figured it out. That would be. I 
I wonder what would happen if they could accept that. Yeah. Okay, L let me look at the autopsy report. Death. Gunshot. B bam. Romaine. And then... Romaine. Uh, lost. <laughs> 45 caliber. Time elapse. Supposedly there's a time lapse, but we... We moved in there pretty quickly. <laughs> I didn't see him much time. <laughs> we walked. We weren't like. Doing no, it's a just stroll. as time elapsed. It's like, oh, by time we meant a few seconds. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh, first page. We've got the mixing board. That's <laughs> not that. Um. The key ring. No. Invitation, investigation request, no. <laughs> Adventure hits you now and then it grabs you by the throat. Postcard? Wait, let me just check out the postcard real quick. If only it was from Lemmingland. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So cute. Okay, go back. Um, I like her, I like her dress. We, we haven't looked at the gun. What are we doing? Look at the gun. Murder weapon. Can we check it? We already have. Uh, In the past. But, but I need to check it for my own sake. Middle of the weapon is a revolving chamber. That's where you load the bullets. It's a revolver. Revolver. That sounds like Wonder Bar. Remember? Yeah. Do you? If you're blind, I mean, I'm not blind. I could have been, but um, that's a different story. Um, if if you were blind, would you be able to load the gun? Like at all? Yeah. Would you be able to load the I mean, it, especially if you're used to firing weapons like that, so you don't dislocate your shoulder. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, you you don't know, do you? I want to see. Is it the diagram? Nope. It's not. I want to find out for myself. It'd be really dumb if it's just the crime photo. They're like, it's the crime photo. <laughs> Bleh, the shoulder. <laughs> I've been the feet. Shot. <laughs> and all the blood. And shot in the shoulder, which that would make sense with where the bullet, sh the bullet wounds. No, the bullets in the wall, Marty. What the heck? You gotta think. It straight. shot through it the shot shoulder. Through. There was no blood on the wall. That's pretty weird. Yeah, that's not really. If you okay, say I shot somebody. It goes clean through their skin, their muscle. Where, wherever and it doesn't get stuck in the bone are you telling me that no blood comes flying out and hits the wall the, that's wall, complete, was, the wall was kind of far away that's complete bullcrap that's so numb Machi cleaned it up even though he can't <laughs> see, see? <laughs> that's some of it is like <laughs> that's the one thing of like blind blind or is this like one of those Robin Hood like pennies for the poor? Alms for the poor. Oh, you yeah, that thing where he's like just tapping around pretending to be blind. That's what our older brother would do when he ran out of jelly beans after Easter and wanted to pawn ours off. He did that. Alms for the poor. It was fantastic. Really? Was that Link or was that our other brother? Other brother. Who other hasn't been that here. would be him. Yeah. He likes jelly beats a lot more than the rest of us. He does. We kind of buy them for him, but not really for us. Okay, sorry. We <laughs> just pick. Just pick. I, I'm not. It's the crime photo! This is that evidence! The photograph of the crime scene? I don't care much for the smirk on Prosecutor Gavin's face. <laughs> but this is no time to think twice. Time to press on. It's the stupid crime photo. Yes, Your Honor, the crime scene. There is something in here that decisively contradicts the prosecution's point. Then perhaps you'd best show us this something. Get your finger out of the breeze and put it up to good use, ya. Yeah. Okay. Very well, show us what you're talking about, Mr. Justice. The contradiction at the scene of the crime is... 